Hi, thanks for joining the CEHD transfer information session. I'm one of the transfer admissions counselors in the Office of Admissions. I'm going to spend the next 20 to 30 minutes talking about the College of Education and Human Development, or as we call it on campus, CEHD. Why should you choose CEHD? It is made up of problem solvers, advocates, and leaders. We are a mid-sized college with approximately 2,500 undergraduates and over 35% are first-generation students in their families to go to college. Our mission and vision are in our name, education and human development. Our majors are developmentally driven that connect a diverse set of interests. We value individuals' unique talents, identities, and lived experiences. We encourage you to bring those experiences with you as our majors are human-centered and connect around the shared mission of helping others grow and develop at various life stages. As a graduate of our college, you'll be empowered to effectively put humans at the center of your work, wherever that path may lead. Being a part of CEHD is like being in a small community within the University of Minnesota. CEHD does not admit students as undeclared, undecided, or as pre-majors. Our goal is to create community with your peers and advisors right from the start by being admitted directly into your major. There's also tremendous support from faculty, and you really have the opportunity to create your own community specific to CEHD, which allows you to create a personalized experience while you are here. Let's talk a little bit about the application process. First, to apply to the university, you will need to complete our Golden Gopher application. Components of a complete application include the actual application, short answer responses, your $55 application fee. We do have application fee waivers available. Official college transcripts from any previously attended colleges. This includes if you did any PSEO, dual enrollment, or online coursework. We need those transcripts from the college directly. If you have under 26 transferring college credits, we will need to see your official high school transcripts as well. Please have official transcripts sent directly to admissions at umn.edu. You can also have them sent to post at the address in the contact slide at the end of the presentation. It is important to know that the College of Education and Human Development is a spring and fall admitting college. We do not have summer admissions. The priority deadline for fall admission is February 1st. I really want to stress the importance of that deadline. So by February 1st, not only does your application need to be submitted, but it also needs to be completed by that deadline. So that includes transcripts and a missing time form, among other things. The priority deadline for spring admission is October 1st. CEHD is a diverse community of scholars interested in learning with and from each other inside and outside of the classroom. As such, CEHD recognizes the uniqueness of every student and values the diversity of identities, cultures, experiences, perspectives, backgrounds, and talents they bring with them to CEHD. In keeping with these core values, the CEHD transfer team reviews each applicant holistically and in the context of the major to which you apply. That is, we value who you are beyond your academic record, and we want to gain a better understanding of your goals, interests, background, and life experiences, as well as how they led you to pursue a degree in CEHD. The questions are an important part of our holistic review. It gives you an opportunity to share important aspects of yourself with us and demonstrate how they connect with your major of interest and for us to get to know you more authentically. It also gives you an opportunity to include context factors that have not been asked for on the application. While you are automatically reviewed for scholarships by the college, your answer to these questions can give the scholarship committee even more information to grant these scholarships. Let's talk about secondary factors for admission. 
as I mentioned, we do a holistic review of every applicant. So it is much more than just the classes you take and your GPA. We look at your grade trends overall. Maybe your first semester at college wasn't great, but we see that you've steadily improved. That's what we wanna see. We also look to see if your grades have gone on a downward trend. We don't want to see that. We also look to see if you maybe started by taking only eight credits a semester and you are now up to 12 to 16. We'll also look at your cumulative GPA and your preferred coursework. We will take a look at what else you've taken and how you have done in those courses. We will also look at extracurricular activities and significant responsibilities that you are doing outside of your classwork. Extracurricular activities don't just include academic-based activities. Maybe you have a job, maybe you care for an elderly parent, maybe you care for a younger sibling, or maybe you have kids of your own. Maybe you are heavily involved in a community-based organization or you volunteer at your local food shelf or animal rescue. We want to know those things. So we look at your extracurricular activities and responsibilities as a whole. It doesn't have to be tied to academics. It can be whatever you are doing and involved in. Finally, we will also look at any extenuating circumstances. As mentioned in the previous slide, we know the pandemic created an extremely unsteady academic environment for a lot of people. So if there are situations that have taken place that have heavily impacted your academics, please let us know. The review committee can only know what you tell them. Please explain as much as you can and as much as you are comfortable disclosing. We really appreciate understanding every everything a student has gone through to get them to this point right now, whether good or bad. It is also important to tell us what steps you have taken to work to overcome these challenges. So what if you're not admitted? There are appeals. It is only recommended that students submit, submit an appeal if they are able to provide new and compelling information not previously indicated on their application for admission. New and compelling information may include a prerequisite is in progress, but the transcript wasn't on file at time of review, a prerequisite course was reviewed by the department and approved, updated grades via an unofficial transcript submitted with the appeal. This is most common for applicants which are denied fall admission before spring grades were available, or significant extenuating circumstances not previously disclosed. Liberal education requirements. The university's liberal education requirements for all students are designed to be integrated throughout your four year undergraduate experience. These courses provide you an opportunity to explore fields outside your major or help you determine what your major is if you're undecided. There are three different categories for the liberal education requirements. The core, Students are required to satisfy all seven of these core requirements. The theme requirements, students need to complete the race, power, and justice category, and then three out of the other four requirements. For writing, students must complete five writing courses, and some of these are available in your major. The Minnesota Transfer Curriculum is a common liberal arts curriculum at public colleges and universities in Minnesota. It's the basis for general education requirements at institutions that are part of the Minnesota state system. Completion of the MinTC or the Minnesota Transfer Curriculum requires at least 40 credits. Courses or credits must be taken from each of the 10 MinTC goal areas. The MinTC must be completed with a minimum of a 2.0 GPA. If you complete the MinTC at a participating school and then transfer to the University of Minnesota Twin Cities, you have completed the core theme and first year writing portion of the university's liberal education requirements. 
this min TC must be listed on your transcript as having been awarded. Course and credit transfers. Transferology is a great tool to see how your credits will transfer before applying to the University of Minnesota. It is a third party website that keeps track of transfer tables from across the country so you can enter previously earned and prospective coursework to see how exactly how it will transfer to the University of Minnesota Twin Cities. You'll create a free profile, select your school, the term you took the course or will take the course and the course itself. From there, you'll choose the University of Minnesota Twin Cities and it will tell you how the selected courses will transfer. Sometimes you'll need to submit a course evaluation. You'll need to do so as a prospective student when transferology shows your courses as maybes or misses. You'll need to submit a course syllabus for the evaluation. The TES or test transfer guides are mainly for students within Minnesota, but we do include some national and international colleges and universities. These guides have the required GPA, number of credits, the preferred coursework, and the equivalent courses you need to take at your local college for specific majors. Unfortunately, not all majors at the University of Minnesota Twin Cities are included. CEHD scholarships. All transfer students are automatically reviewed for scholarships when they apply. In addition to the scholarship review, students can also apply for departmental scholarships, study abroad scholarships, if you're planning on doing so, internships, internship grants, as well as any outside scholarships listed on our one-stop scholarship webpage. Now on to our CEHD majors. There are nine major options within the College of Education and Human Development. When a student says, I want to be a teacher, or I want to work in business, or I want to work in the health sciences, that means so many things. So the different areas of interest that we have, we have different business majors, social sciences and human services, we have education, and we also have health, sport, and wellness majors. I would encourage you to review all the majors within CEHD and think about what the best fit for you might be. All majors have some sort of course expectations to have your application considered for admission. All coursework expectations differ based on each major. These expectations include cumulative GPAs, coursework, number of credits completed, and letters of recommendation for our special education program. The most competitive majors in CEHD are kinesiology, business and marketing education, and sport management. I would encourage you to think about which major you want to pursue ahead of time and connect with a transfer admissions counselor early so you can make sure you are taking the correct coursework to be considered for admission. You can begin your search at www.cehd.umn.edu forward slash programs. If you are looking to become a teacher, we have many pathways to teaching. So for your licensure, our early childhood and elementary education programs prepare students to go into the licensure program corresponding to their degree. If you start with an early childhood licensure program, you can add on elementary education with no extra time added to your degree, but you cannot add early childhood to elementary education if you start with elementary education. Licensure for early childhood and any K through 12 programs happens at the master's level, which is five plus years. This includes your student teaching as well. So you 
need to get your bachelor's degree and then your master's, which will be your fifth year, including your student teaching. If you're interested in specialty areas or grade six plus, then you need to complete your bachelor's degree in the area of interest. So for example, English teachers, math teachers, science teachers, theater arts, second language teachers, then you need to apply for your master's and licensure in CEHD. For special education, licensure happens at the Bachelor of Science level, which is approximately four years, depending on the number of credits you still have left. You can choose to go on to complete a master's and specialize in any particular area. There are so many helpful resources here at the university. There's a very supportive campus life at the U of M. You'll have both student service advisors and academic advisors in CEHD. That means you'll have an academic advisor whose whole job it is to help you plan your time in the program. They will be the ones who work with you to make sure you're staying on track to graduate and are taking the right courses. Your student services advisor will be the person you can go to to talk about the daily piece of what it means to be in this field and how to navigate the university. We have many options to look through our 150 plus majors. You can search through our list and read specifics on admissions and program details, or if you aren't exactly sure which major you want, but know what you're interested in, you can search by interests. We also have CAPE, the Center for Academic Planning and Exploration. While only admitted students can utilize the services of the coaches, Anyone can access planning activities or the major profiles, which include information on degree requirements, potential careers, and learning abroad opportunities. Many profiles also include links to related student groups and student perspectives on the major. For qualified CEHD students, we also have TRIO Student Support Services. For more information, please refer to the TRIO SSS website at www.cehd.umn.edu forward slash TRIO forward slash services. If you have accessibility needs, please reach out to the Disability Resource Center soon after you are admitted into any program. You can do so at disability.umn.edu. Finally, contact information for us. You can email us, call us, visit our website, or drop into Williamson. Please note our office hours are subject to change. Our transfer team is here to assist and is happy to help you. So even if you think it's a basic question, we are here to help with anything. I appreciate, I appreciate everyone taking the time to join. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to reach out. Thank you and have a wonderful rest of the day.